I'm Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk, Sarah Listens. I'm here today with Bosco. He's a little Havanese and we're here to talk to you today about handling a small dog. Small dogs don't think of themselves as much different from big dogs, but they are a lot, a lot tinier. And how you interact with them will affect drastically their relationship and their behavior with you day to day. Imagine for a moment that we're not even talking about dogs. We're talking about you, and you're living with a family of silverback gorillas, and they love you. They think you're adorable. They can't take their eyes off of you, and they pick you up night and day. And every once in a while, they get a little frustrated and race at you to take something out of your hand that they don't think you should have. No matter how much they liked you, when they ran at you, it would still make you feel afraid. So interacting with your little dog day to day, put yourself in their paws and think about how you can handle them to make them feel most secure with the relationship. There are five things you want to keep in mind with a small dog. Number one, bending over a small dog can be very, very intimidating. Even if you're doing happy talk and you're, you know, smiling up a storm. When you bend over a little dog, they, they immediately feel overshadowed and kind of threatened. So what I recommend you do is kneel down when interacting with a small dog. And kneel down so that your face, your front carriage, is either off to the side or your back is facing the dog. This way they don't feel overshadowed. Now the second thing to keep in mind with a little dog, and it's so critical, is never walk at them. Let's say you're trying to put the leash on the puppy or the little dog and you walk directly at them. It's very intimidating. I wouldn't walk at you really fast with holding something in my hand and reaching out for your neck. So when people do that to a little dog, uh, they get really scared and then they back up. And then what do people do? They keep walking at them and saying, come here, come here, come here. And the further away the puppy skirts, the faster they chase them. And it becomes a very, very threatening situation for the little puppy. And you're kind of guaranteeing a repeat performance and it affects the rest of the relationship the rest of the time. So whenever you have to put something on a puppy, use a tree cup to encourage them to come to you. And best case scenario, sit in a chair or kneel down sideways or back facing to your puppy so that they don't feel threatened by your approach. The next thing to keep in mind with a small dog is how you handle them. If you snatch at them or grab them or move really quickly, it kind of elicits a, a fear response. They don't, you know, they're little tiny animals. They don't like being grabbed. So when you need to lift or handle your dog, move your hand motions very slowly, kneel down so you're more at their level or sit in a chair. And when you lift them, use, use your hands under their body and support their rib cage and their hips. One technique I use with little dogs or small puppies is I let them wear a drag leash. So they have a little drag leash dragging on their leash or their collar, I mean their harness or their collar. And then uh, I encourage everyone to use the word wait, step on the lead, and then kneel down to approach them. So uh, to do this, we rig situations where we put the puppy on the floor. Ready, Bosco? Put them on the floor, and you step on the lead, and you just say, hey, Bosco, wait, wait. Then you reward them. The last thing to think about is how you use your voice and how you praise your puppy. Although you might be thrilled that your puppy pee in the right spot or chew on the right toy or sit when you direct them, if you get too excited, it can actually frighten your puppy. And you'll know this because your puppy's ears will go back and they'll kind of shrink in place. And those are all signs that a puppy isn't happy. They're a little scared. So when you're praising your puppy, kneel down, don't bend over, Praise them lovingly. What a good dog. What a good dog. Find that cadence of your voice that makes your puppy's tail come up and wag. And um, when you give them direction, remember that your voice is amplified. And your voice coming from your big, tall posture can look monstrous if it's too loud. So keep your voice steady, affirmative, calming, loving. And um, when you praise, kneel down to your puppy's level. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Good boy, Vasco. Good boy.